Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm Kristen. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some cleaning, organizing, and decorating of my kids' playroom. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around for future videos. Also, don't forget to leave your comments down below. I love hearing you guys' feedback. This is all my kids reading slash learning books. Um, some are torn the front page or used or they have a bunch of scratches. So I'm just going to be going through them and kind of getting rid of all the unnecessary books that are broken or torn that we don't need. So I can be able to go ahead and organize it into this storage bin that I bought from the Dollar Tree that I'll be showing you guys shortly. So these are the bins that I got from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. They come in different sizes and colors. I got the shorter ones for my books, um, for my kids' books, because I wanted my kids to be able to see the title of the book. And I love the way the books look when they were all inside of the bin. Um, they were perfectly displayed. I just loved it.
these are the toddler bins that I also got from the Dollar Tree um, for $1.25. Again, they come in different colors. I love the fact that they had like red, green, um, turquoise, and I think pink, which is perfect for boys and girls. So I got about like five of them and they turned out very well you can ride on them i also got this chark rider from the dollar tree as well So like a klutz, I accidentally rode on the wrong side of the bin. It was upside down. So now I have to turn it on the other side and re-ride it. And apparently this chark rider does not erase. It does not come off. So once you write, that's pretty much it. Purchased this rug from IKEA for $49.99. It is a 4x6 rug. I just fell in love with the color and I think it pairs very well with the color scheme of this playroom, which is just bright, vibrant colors just to give the kids energy and just to feel good uh, once the playroom is all set up. These side tables are also from Ikea for $12.99. Um, I was going to get an Ikea children table, but the children tables were $39.99 and I just figured why not just buy two side tables and put it together just to make one big table and save $10 at the same time. I actually love the way it turned out.
I also purchased these children's stool in yellow from Ikea for $9.99 as well. Um, I chose the color yellow because one, yellow is my favorite color. Two, it is bright. It pairs very well with the color scheme as well as the tables. But I do believe Ikea have these stools in different color. I think they have it in orange as well as blue if I'm not mistaken. So if you were watching my previous video about my new home, you'll know that this house has no storage in it. So if you're wondering why those white closet racks are in the playroom, that is basically our storage. That is where all, our, all of our towels, our rags, our beddings, everything is basically inside of those closets because this house unfortunately has no storage. So this is actually my daughter's kitchen. Um, she got this kitchen, I would, I want to say about two years ago or a year ago. I'm just adding a curtain to in the back just to give the kitchen a little bit of flair. Um, I'm using one of my old curtains that I cut um, to make it shorter. 
and unfortunately I only had white I wish I had a different color but I love the way it turned out um, I love the finished look I got these black baskets from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 as well as the Dollar Tree sells sticky hooks, three in a pack for $1.25. I got those to place the basket onto so my daughter can have somewhere to place her fake food inside of. Um, that way it's just reachable. She's able to grab her food and pretend that she's cooking or the kids, you know, because the boys play as well. I got this clothing rack from Walmart for $14.99 so that I can place the kids dress up play clothes on the rack. When I say this turned out wonderful, I love the way this turned out. And plus it was only $14.99, I think that's a steal of a deal for the way it turned out.
I did purchase a TV for my kids' playroom area um, just because they love playing games, especially the boys. Um, they love playing their Nintendo Switch. They love watching TV. We are a Roku family here. We do stream TV. Um, so I did get one of those Roku TVs where you can stream TV. Plus, I was so tired of my kids watching TV down in my living room. They would stain the rug. Um, they would put like food and just like their toys everywhere so i'm just so happy that they have their own area where they can watch tv and they can dirty it up and i can just go in there and clean up after them i don't know moms tell me down below in the comment do you guys go through the same thing So this is actually my desk, kind of my station in the playroom and I thought I was recording but unfortunately I was not. There was a ton of envelopes like old mail that I needed to go through and get rid of and papers on this desk um, that I took off and I got rid of it and now I'm just wiping down the glass but I thought I was actually recording but I wasn't. In the future, I am going to go ahead and trade out this desk for a bigger desk because I would love to have an area where I can do my crafting. I'm big on crafting. I love to craft. As you guys know, fall is coming up. So I have so many different crafting things that I need to do for the fall. So I really just need to hurry up and just get a bigger table so I'm able to do my crafting on that table as well. So I am using Dollar Tree tissue ball um, papers for $1.25 for wall decorations. I thought it was very cute, very cheap, and I kind of love the way it turned out. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you guys love the way it looks. Okay, so I got these letters from Walmart for two, they were they cost two dollars and twenty two cents per letter, just to write play on the wall. I'm also using Dollar Tree pop dot tape to stick the letters onto the wall. I love the way this decor looked afterwards. Um, it turned out really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you tons of motivation. And if it did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Guys, until next time, stay lovely, stay blessed, stay positive. Love you guys. Bye.